Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Trapped in the South. Today is the night before I start 75 South. So here is a before video. Okay, here I am. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. And I'm trying to get better in these next 75 days. 75 oh, soft is... I don't know if this is a real thing, but I and my friend Miranda have decided that for 75 days, we're going to eat clean, high protein foods. Um, we are going to meditate or pray every day. We are going to work out every day. Um, we are going to have no sweets. And there's a list of a couple more things that we've said that we're not going to do. And I'll add that to the screen or in the next slide. And so hopefully in the next 75 days, mental clarity would be a big one. And physical change. Hopefully there's a large physical change. Um, my goal this year, just for fitness and and all is to work out at least three times a week and also to lose 25 pounds. And I feel like I've been losing the same 10 pounds over and over and over again. So I'm really hoping that this will kickstart this journey. So um, let me show you what we're eating for week one, maybe week two. Okay? I'll insert the video here. Let's get into it. Oh, the zippy zip noise. Ba bam. We have our first culprit here. What do we got here? We have our lovely uh, carrot juice mixture. We see it's a natural juice. So get it to it. Get it to it. What does the separation mean? Oh, it's just what natural juice does. Oh, it okay. just, it's natural stuff goes here and more of like this, the water content of whatever you mix it with. Yeah. Okay. Got two of those. Like, there's a little agave in there, so that's why we have like this little white stuff. That's the agave syrup that kind of left, but you just shake it up. Okay, I'm with it. Oh! You drop it now. You're right. Shake it like a soul shake. Good, that's the wrong way to shake. It is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll learn. Okay, got our stuff for there. Good little rest smoothie going on. I'm gonna put that in the freezer. All right, next situation. This is the, for, I found out it's not Nicoise, it's Nic Nicoise, Nicoise. It's French. Look it up on TikTok or ask your local French person. And what is it again? Nicoise. Oh no, point to what is a Nicoise. Okay, so it's like tuna, like I put a little pear in there, but there's green bean, egg, cucumber, tomato, and then our lettuce here at the bottom. All right, so we have the Nicolese. Let's actually see how this is pronounced because I'd just be saying stuff. So. Okay. We'll see how this lady on TikTok says it. We're cooking our way through Anthony Bourdain's cookbook. The next recipe up is salad mise sauce. Let's go. Niçois? Niçois. I uh, was completely wrong. This is salad niçois. I was saying Nicolese. Okay. It is niçois. Uh, I guess that's the, the black in me. Okay, niçois is what again? The so, salad is the name of, as a whole? So yeah, the salad is the name as a whole, the type of salad. So I didn't do every single component of it, but I did the majority. So there's like tuna. We have a little bit of pear. I snuck that in. Um, egg. You have tomato. Mm, and so some that out cucumber we don't get the whole experience around here, baby. Get in the church. and then we have some nice spring mix <laughs> that's childish so i put an l here because i was supposed to make a lemon vinaigrette but i was like i'm pretty sure everybody can do their own little vinaigrette or have like a dressing mm -hmm. so use whatever dressing you want but the the swiss the mm, swiss we're cooking our way through anthony bourdain's cookbook the next recipe up is salad mi swiss mi swiss Somebody remembered it. So Nisoise. with Nisoise, it's a lemon vinaigrette that goes with the salad. But I put whatever dressing I want, baby. Okay. So that's what we do. So this one has just a regular basic uh, reduced sodium tuna. 
I'm excited. There's one of those. We have two of them. This one has a bacon ranch tuna because I was going to put ranch. Because <laughs> why not have a little light ranch for your life? <laughs> yeah. And then these jars are reusable. You don't have to wash these out so I can keep reusing them because that's Absolutely. how we're doing it. And then we're going to do as a breakfast option, you have a chicken and waffle situation. Whoa. So you just pop these in the toaster oven. You can do two and a half of these. So two whole waffles and then half of one because it's only five of them here and i'll take other five and then you just do one link you just chop it up or warm it up and that's a quick you can eat that at your desk in the car honestly and do whatever syrup you want i use a sugar-free syrup i don't use syrup oh well then you can eat it plain i mm -hmm. like how this one this is the best freaking protein because some protein still tastes disgusting this is probably the best protein like breakfast situation mm, so good so that that's chicken sausage um hand me that it's gonna give you the protein waffle situation. You just take a packet. Pretty sure you can do it a healthier way, but we don't butters here. We do what we gotta do. Take one of these, scoop of protein. You can add berries, stuff like that. Add your protein, really good. I think some people be adding like a little syrup or extra stuff for honey. I like it plain. I don't be wanting a whole bunch. I think I just like a drizzle of I might do a drizzle of honey. Hmm? I might do a drizzle of honey. Yeah, I think I like a little splash of oat milk after it's done cooking on top. I don't know. I just hill scoop that for like the last okay scoopage. We would it. Oh, and would. then there's a Kodiak cup in there that's lit. If you just need an extra thing, it's s'mores flavored. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. Hey, other than that, we're gonna have uh some stew situation. You should get two servings from this. So, it's kind of like my remake of, you know, like they had the canned beef suits. I had a deer cutlet, honestly, in the fridge. I seasoned it up and basically kind of made my own version of like a hearty stew. Pop it up. So, it doesn't look oh, the best in here. that looks amazing, actually. Yeah, so it has like your veggies, but it's seasoned well enough and not over seasoned. So, I seasoned the meat pretty good. And then just use, you know, kind of like the uh, reduced sodium stuff, like less salt, because we don't need all that. Season for Miranda. We use seasoning. <laughs> First Lord. So we you can get like two or three servings from that. And then there's just some extra rice to go with the stew to kind of make it stretch. This is where the salmon bowl is salmon. It's a sweet chili salmon rice. So you can put, honestly, cucumbers in there with it. I have some, and then you cut up avocado. So you have three of these. Sprinkle all your stuff. Girl, you can take the avocado. I don't know what to do with it. You just cut it in half. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the taste of it. You don't like avocado? It's a healthy fat. No, I do not like avocado. I do not like green eggs and ham, Sam. I am. <laughs> the disappointment. Pure disappointment. I'm glad you read the face. I'm like, what did avocado do to you? Mm. Avocado toast? Mm mm. I'm going to add it to your life, okay? I already have one. Well, now you're going to have two. I don't need to, though. We're not going to waste product. Feed these kids with it. I tried. I tried. Okay, so this is steak and veggies. <gasps> That's going to be real good. So you have three of those and three of the summer bowls. So and that really concludes good. our stuff. So this is a Are week's they... worth of product. Yes. Thank you, Miranda. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we'll see what next week's video is going to look like. Okay? Bye.